Hello everyone, it's Bella Dover and today we're going to be taking a look at all the brand new mods for Sims 2 that have come out in this first quarter of 2024, so January, February or March. I do hope to make this an ongoing series on my channel, so if you enjoy this video, please make sure you leave a like and comment so I know you'd be interested in seeing more. All of the links to the mods shown today will be in a single link in the description that'll take you to my brand new website that will have a post to accompany this video with all the links and the descriptions of mods and a little bit more information of some of the mods that can't really be shown in, in video form. But anyway, let's get started. The general plan is that we're going to kind of go from big to small. Um, so some of the brand new bigger features first and then work our way down to smaller details but it might be that we point out some of the smaller details along the way as we go as well but the first mod i want to show you is something that's going to be handy for the video today because we don't want alexander going off to school since it's a tuesday we might need him for our demonstration purposes so we're going to be using this brand new magic calendar by mo popcom which is a nice calendar which has a recolor for each season. Uh, we've got the autumn one going on right now. And what this is, is it's a functional calendar which lets you change the day of the week and the season and how long's left in the season. And uh, there are some other, you know, cheat object mods that allow you to do this. But um, if you have to rely on this a lot for, I don't know, the way you do your rotations or keeping your household in sync or, or whatever it's quite a nice decorative piece that you could realistically have um looking nice in any household and use it that way without having to grab a specific cheat item out of the catalog each time so we'll have cassandra go and change the date to saturday for us and there we go it's saturday so a nice simple beautiful handy mod there Next, let's talk a bit bigger, and that is an exciting expansion to the traits project, and that is a set of brand new traits that haven't been converted from anywhere, just some really logical traits that sort of fill in the gaps to what we had in The Sims 3. So that is a pack called Catch You on the Flippity Flop, um, and we have some really exciting new traits with a lot of potential. So here we've got Black Thumb, which is the opposite to green thumb i'm not sure why this one has a recolor for one of the other traits that might be a mistake i'm not sure um but anyway we've got black thumb big spender which is the opposite of frugal dislikes dogs obviously the opposite of dog person and save dislikes animals and dislikes cats and um, can't carry a tune which is the opposite of virtuoso climate denier the opposite of eco-friendly difficulty reading the opposite of Book one, terrible cook, opposite of natural cook. Slow learner is the opposite of genius. Um, sweet tooth, which is just a unique one. Uh, a dreamer, which is like takes inspiration of both absent minded and ambitious. Generous, which is the opposite of a mooch. And we've got nudist, obviously the opposite of a never nude. A minimalist, which is the opposite of a gatherer. I guess in some ways, so it's kind of a unique one, I'd say. Um, a homebody is the opposite of, of adventurous. So while there aren't any mods that make these traits do anything yet, there are certainly loads in the works and plans for, and these have so much potential. They're really exciting. I can see myself making um, some mods for this, particularly um, dislikes animals, which is surprising for me because obviously I love animals. But because I take so much inspiration from a sim's interest i think when a sim has low interest in animals that they shouldn't want to get pets and things like that so if i made a mod for example that would make people that dislike animals or cats or dogs not get those wants to obtain them then i think that i'd really help my gameplay and you just i give me your mind could run wild thinking of all of the potential for these awesome new traits so I've actually gone ahead and given, who was it, Mortimer one of them, which is the climate denier one, because this is actually one, there's, there's I think there's only one mod I've I know so far that um, incorporates these traits, and we're going to take a look at that next. So Mortimer here, for the purpose of this video, is a climate denier, and I've also given them some other traits that um, 
have some impact on some of the other mods that we're going to be looking at today as well. So you might have already caught some hints for the next mod we're going to be looking at and that is in a way it's actually not a new mod but it has been re-released as a 2.0 new version of the mod, new new mod page and everything like that um, and that is loads of laundry, a complete laundry system far more complex than anything we've seen so far and um, really kind of recreating those systems that we get in the sims 3 and the sims 4 and even taking them miles further um so yeah it's loads of laundry 2.0 did come out this quarter but there was um an older version that you might have have seen before and some videos on and so this one is kind of new and improved um it fixes quite a lot of annoyances and just adds loads of new features to it. It's really well polished now. This mod is so huge it could be a video in and of itself um, and actually tiered it has got a really good lengthy video on version 1 and a lot of it is still the same so I would recommend you still check that out. I might make a video covering every aspect in the future um, of this new 2.0 but for today we're just going to touch on it and focus on the elements that the average player might use in their day-to-day -day gameplay. Um, there's so many options that would work great for a medieval hood and there's options for businesses and things like that as well but we're just going to take a look at the modern household features of it. So this mod won't start until you grab a item to do with it. So because I've placed a washer and a dryer and a clothesline on this lot and some hampers um, the mod will start. So it's not forced upon you if you don't have anything related to, to laundry, you won't get piles of clothes spawning. But as soon as you start placing the relevant items on a lot, um, then it will activate. So what happens is anytime a sim changes clothes when they are below 75 hygiene, um, they will spawn dirty clothes piles and if they have a hamper in the room, like in Sim Street, it will go into that hamper. So let's push all the hygienes down a bit. I'll have Mortimer go and take a shower um, so there's no hamper in the bathroom, there probably should be, um, but for demonstration purposes uh, we'll let a pile go on the floor and then let's have Cassandra and Alex change their clothes a couple of times in here. I guess I'll be immersive and use the wardrobe. So let's have a change into her gym clothes and Alex into his pyjamas and they should start filling up the hampers. Oh, it went on the floor in Alex's room. Oh, it's because that is because I have given him the slob tray. So because he is a slob, his clothes won't go into the hamper is just slobby so they will go all over the floor and um, I think the default behavior um will be that they go into the hamper but especially because Cassandra is neat so if we um check um the dirty laundry level I think there should be a pile in there and Mortimer obviously spawned one um, on the bathroom floor. So we've got three scattered around the house at the moment. Um, let's have them change back uh, to get some more piles going. So we've got another pile there and now this hamper should have gone up one again. So because he has just changed clothes again but he's now clean, um, another one didn't spawn so it's just that one. But he can now uh, grab this pile, pick it up and then it's in his inventory. And so as we can see we've got two piles in this hamper now. One in Mortimer's inventory here. So what he could do is go and collect the rest around the house. Or he can go and put them into, we can just put one or any, all of the ones he's got in in his inventory into this hamper. So let's do that and then let's go and make poor Cassandra here go out and pick up after her slobby little brother. 
put them into her inventory and then she can be the one that goes and collects all the piles to be able to do a laundry load. So she's picking them all up and then I will have her get all piles of dirty laundry in here as well. She got through so far. We might need another one actually. We might be one short. Because I believe you have to. I believe you have to have five piles. No, you can do two loads at a time. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do two loads then. Got two piles, so let's wash two of them and then we can um, check out the difference between drying in a dryer and on a clothesline. Let's go have Cassandra wash two of those. The cobble's here, but she's got a vacation day, so we will just ignore it. She can have a day showing off all the new mods of this core instead. So she's going to put the clothes in the washer. Ah, now... Ah, okay. So, my bad. I didn't show an important part of this because it um, had carried over from when I was setting it out to get my head around myself first. But you actually need detergent to be able to do a wash. So this washer is already stocked with the detergent. But there's a few ways you can get detergent. So if I go to the collection folder of this mod, look at all, look at all this stuff. Let, let's just go through it a little bit while we're here. So this is a little cute, I don't want to click it in case it works by just clicking it, um, but this is a little cute. If you're absolutely sick of doing laundry, you could uh, use this little token to stop spawning. This is a colour picker, uh, which do have one out and I've not tried yet. So it's here and this lets you change the colour of the, the, what the laundry spawns at. But which is just label colour 1, colour 2, rather than what colour it's going to be. So it's a bit of guesswork, a bit of trial and error. So let's just... Ah, oh, and then you can see like that. So it shows you what the texture is going to be. So as we did see in the piles on the floor, they were sort of red, white and blue like this. Um, but you can cycle through this and see what colour you'd like it to be. You can see a lot of them are very suitable for like um, medieval type clothes. Um, we'll go for, the, for that for the goths now. Um, let's actually have uh, Alex change again. We can have him change into his um, formal this time. And let's see how the uh, pile of clothes looks now. So there we go, as we can see, the pile of clothes looks a bit different now. So you can change how the, the, the clothes, and I think on the clothes line as well, what kind of textures the clothes use using that, which is cool. And um, this, I think I'm missing a image for the front of this. Um, not quite sure what I did wrong. There, it's just a blank sign at the moment. But this, as you can see, it's probably a bit more tailored to like a medieval style game. Um, and this is a way you could use to set up like a, a community market stall and you can use this sign to purchase the laundry detergent items. Or, or with this item, which you can see obviously is a medieval type looking one. Um, here is the more modern one that you'd be able to put on a community lot, um, like on, on a wall like that. Um, and like it's a vending machine, you can purchase your detergent or you can grab the detergent straight out of the catalog. So we've got the, the bottle or the box. I don't think it really matters. And these are kind of uh, like the medieval alternatives. So if you're just going for a modern game, you might just want these two. Um, so I will grab a bottle out here. Uh, actually, I don't think there's a slot on these, so I'll just pop it there. But yeah, I'd already used one of these to stock up this washer before, you see. There are so many options for the different kinds of um, washers and dryers you can use. It's converted from Sims 3, Sims 4, some custom. So yeah, tons of options there. You can really make them look nice in any kind of house. Uh, 
I don't know what a ringer washer. I guess that's more like a. I've never really seen anything like that before. And I guess it's just a type of a type of washer. Interesting. In here, you've got more of your off the grid or medieval type options. Uh, so it's a ringer here or a tub. Some other tubs. And this is more like a cottagey type tub, uh, which is cool. This is a laundry rock for maybe like ancient times. You could place this by a pond and have a, a scrubbing rock to do your laundry like that. Various clothes lines and racks so you can place it on the ceiling like this. Or outside there's a few options for clothes, pegs. This is a, a drying rack that you place inside. I think I've got one of these somewhere. Did I place this? Yeah, it's there. Um, and there's some more outside options. Again, some looking modern, cottagey or medieval -y or a lot could be adapted to any game really. A load of different options for hampers. More hampers here from all over the place so many cool options and these are just um, the laundry piles and wet clothes that you can access from this catalogue but wouldn't automatically collection folder but wouldn't automatically be in your catalogue um, and this is the example of the fresh outfit that you'll get when your clothes are nice and clean I'll show you that later and these are some more uh, medieval type tools for washing up so yeah there's there's loads to this mod loads of options to any kind of game any kind of house so we can use this we can get cassandra to pick up this wow this is a really loud washing machine and <laughs> um, don't want to zoom in too close to it so now she's got a bottle of soap in her inventory and then i don't know if you can i think because the washer's on we can't do it um but yeah we could see there that it's got 13 so it's enough to wash 13 loads but you can stock up the detergent in the machine so one bottle or one box of soap is good enough for 20 washers and you can then just keep it in the washer stocking up and it'll just work its way down and you can buy more of these to replenish it so we'll just wait for this wash pile to be done and then we'll get drying that one and washing another one to dry another way so it's nearly half past nine now and now we can gather two piles of um so we'll take it out of the washer like that we're gonna get them and then we'll stick them in the dryer we've got two loads so dry two loads we're gonna pop them in and then they're drying away as we can hear um but then let's wash our other two loads so we can put them to dry somewhere else and I'll go and speed on ahead and see when they're finished. So I sped on to about 10 past 11 and now the drying is done. So we'll gather two fresh outfits. The washer is still going there. Oh no, it's not. No, I think the washer is almost done. They're still making a load of noise. No? Hmm. Oh, there we go. The noise has stopped now. So, in her inventory now, we have got two piles of work clothes and two fresh, dry outfits. Uh, I do have a one up here already, um, but let's give one to Mortimer there and one to Alex. And then we can firstly go and have Cassandra. Let's go and hang them outside. This one's a little bit tricky to, to click on. I found it eventually. It's just the side of it here and then we can dry two loads of wet laundry outside and she's outside hanging up the laundry it's quite a nice day and there we go and we've got laundry drying outside it looks like this line um has a load of different custom textures for the clothes but i think some of the other lines will use that um color controller one instead uh, but these look really nice as well so now let's have them all go and put their fresh outfit on you can use it to um you can just put it away um but you can also use it to get changed and when you do that maybe some of you were aware of lazy duchess's 
laundry mod which I actually requested it was one of her earlier mods and I was so thrilled when she took my request on board and made it an updated version of the kind of older laundry systems we were going for and uh, but instead of like um boosting hygiene and, and things like that some of the older mods did she made a real cool token that would make a sims comfort and hygiene decay a bit slower once they had washed and dried the clothes so uh, these fresh laundry piles if you use those to get changed and um, that is what they will do so let's get them all cozy in there jammies using this so they'll get changed and you can't really see it in effect but yeah their hygiene will i think actually the comfort will decay slower now because of that so that's pretty cool probably makes more sense to you know kind of change into those um after a shower and things like that but we'll speed on ahead until the drying's done on the line so i don't know exactly when it finished but it is now 2 p.m and the uh, clothes on the line are dry so we can gather two fresh outfits mm. like that as well mm -hmm. mm. i'm crossed up And there we go. We've now got two more fresh outfits that we could um, that we could use to change it into or simply um, we can stack them up as well like that so we can make a neat pile of clothes. Oh, I'll leave. They're on the floor. Um, we can go and um, just put them away instead because we've already got that nice comfort boost so we can just um, yeah put the washing away. Not want to. And there we go. They're not in uh, inventory anymore. Let's see if we can replenish the washer now. It's not in use yet. We can add a whole bottle of detergent um, to keep that washer nice oh. and stocked up. Um. And there we go. We've got 31 loads worth of detergent in that washing machine. So I hope that gives you the general gist of how you might integrate that into your daily gameplay as i said there's so much more to it if you wanted to go more like rustic or medieval with it or set up a laundromat bis business um there's so much more but yeah i don't want this video to be ridiculously long so i hope that touches on it enough for now so now because a slobby alexander has left piles of laundry we can see one actually get in um smelly and it is Oh, kids don't have an environment school. Uh, but it is um, going to bring it out down the environment score quite significantly when there's a stinky pile of laundry out like that. So I'm going to see if this next mod is going to work with this. So bring us on to our next mod is a mod called Gardening and Cleaning Duties, which does quite a few things. Firstly, it adds this new self menu system called duty and you can um it basically assign sims to do a array of tasks so whether it's tidy up like the maid goes around tidying up or be a gardener going around doing all the gardening duties rather than have to click things one at a time or use um the macrostatics mod which is quite big bloated um complex with a lot of things so i've never used that one before but i think this one might just be the perfect middle ground for me so if i set cassandra to tidy up that's this isn't all that mod does by the way but let's start with this if i set cassandra to tidy up let's see if she picks up this smelly wash pile so as we can see she's currently being disgusted and now she, and then she's going to tidy yeah. up let's yeah. see tidy up hmm she's going to pick up some toys first no, it doesn't look like that's going to be part of the tasks, unfortunately. Which is a shame because maids will pick up dirty laundry piles. Yeah, she's 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 not. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Maids will pick up wash piles. And I think actually neat sims are supposed to autonomously do them. So I don't know why Cassandra's designed she is not interested. Let me double check that. Yeah, neat seems well autonomously clean up laundry. So 
Ah, it's maybe it's because I've got free will off. Let's try turning free will on. Sending her up to the room. Yeah, Cassandra's just picked up that one. Yeah, Cassandra's picking them up. So at least because she has the neat trait, she will um, take on that duty. I'm going to turn free will off again though because it's annoying. Um, but as for the gardening cleaning duty mod, it does a, quite a few other things that I can't really show, but it will make the gardener and maid much smarter, take um, more efficient routes, um, not prioritise things that aren't so desperately needed of doing, like taking out bins that aren't completely full yet, you know, just to make sure they do those tasks that, that need doing more first and various things like that. And also apparently it offers you a schedule to be able to choose from when you hire a gardener. So let's try that. Oh god, are they going to do that for eternity now? Yeah, let's stop. So if I try and hire a gardener, we've now got a choice pop-up of how long we want him to go for. So we can go every day, every two days, more choices, just the one time or every three days. Oh, now we can't go back. <laughs> So I'm going to have to call him back to uh, get him every day. Um, that's fine. Um, oh, let's do that. Because I have tried a mod that is supposed to make the gardener come every day. And I've tried to make one myself and haven't ever got it to work. So hopefully this one will actually make the gardener come every day. I guess the only time will tell that. But I think that's a really cool feature that and lets you choose the schedule of the garden when you call them. But yeah, like I said, have a look at the mod page because um, that, this mod does a load of stuff that should make um, just generally gardening and cleaning up a lot more efficient and smarter. Next, I want to touch on another mod that is affected by the traits and that is the colour traits. So as we can see, Cassandra has got her engagement ring on here. And it's just the standard Maxis one, but she has got the favourite colour of black. There's now this cool handy dandy uh, wedding ring updater item that would let you change the colour, like update the wedding ring or the engagement ring if you use the uh, custom version that adds gemstones to the wedding ring. Then you can change what they're going to look like based on the colour traits. Or then you can change it back to Maxis. And I believe if there's like some of the weird problems that can sometimes happen with rings, then another option will come up on this mod to like fix those. Um, so let's for now try updating her ring. Let's see if it happens. She got a black ring on now. Yes, she does. Her ring is now black. I appreciate it. It's very hard to see. Thank you, Cassandra. Um, and then we can go ahead and change it back if we wanted. Yeah, it just does it immediately. So it's got the maxes one. Oh, back to black. So that's really cool. You've got the option to choose what kind of colour you have um, the gemstones now. So that mod was by Epe. And now we're going to take a look at another mod by Epe. And this one's cool. It's, it's a lot bigger, a lot more significant. And it is called the camera overhaul. Now, Sims can't take a picture unless they have a camera or Epi's smartphone conversion. So I'm going to go ahead and give Cassandra a smartphone like this. So because I'm using that default, I'll now, she's now got a smartphone. And now we also have a load of different camera options. If we go to the electronics section, uh, small electronics. Look at all these cameras we've got now. Um, so we've got, I think most of these are just kind of um, aesthetic choices. This is the the um, default camera, but it's using Epi's default replacement. That's that's not a requirement, um, but I thought that camera looked pretty cool. And there's um, also some versions of um, cameras that will print little photos straight away rather than having to order them. But I do think when you order them, there will be like bigger, bigger photos and things. Um, but it's pretty cool that you could have an instant camera as well. 
then look at all these really nice camera options and then you'll see them using them so we can even have this really um cut like big complicated camera so let's get a few different ones out let's get this uh get a, a big one out i think the problem is one will only like take priority um over the other so let's get the default maxis one and also let's get in instant camera as well and let's have a little play so for starters let's have cassandra just take a photo out because now she can because she's got a smartphone so she's now gonna take a picture with her smartphone and that looked pretty good she's holding it really nicely like that and also i want to draw your attention to another mod we're going to be looking at today um, which is a default replacement for this camera overlay box. It makes it look a little bit more modern and clean and actually in line with the clean UI, but it's not um, specifically for that. It doesn't require that or anything, um, but it's very much in the style of that. So now she can take a picture with her phone like so. Um, but now let's see if she had a um, instant camera polaroid camera in her inventory and let's go and give mortimer this um huge one and uh, let's have cassandra take a picture and now i think she will prioritize yep that uh, instant camera so now we can take one of it herself like that but that will actually now be in her inventory because it's an instant camera so there we go, we've got an instant photo and it's just in that classic kind of Polaroid style. So they're really tiny. Um, but yeah, how cool is that to have that as an option? You could make a really cool collage with um, photos like that. But now let's try Mortimer and his huge complex camera. Uh, so you can take a picture now. Oh, right at the wall. Let's take a look at you, please. There we go. Look at him in his huge camera. Now, let's take one of his son here. But that's not an instant camera, so you would have to order it as, as usual. And let's see, can Dolphin take a picture? Um, let's give him the Maxis one and see if he can take a picture. Yes, he can. Even Alex can take a little picture. I don't know where he's going. Yeah, Cassandra on switch, she had a vacation day, what do you mean? Is that a is that a bug and I don't have the, the mod to fix it? I don't know why he had to work walk all the way over here to take a picture. But there we go, he's looking oh camera please. He's looking cute with the default replacement of the Max camera. It looks like he wants to take a picture of this uh beautiful calendar. So let's do that. Oh, I need to turn out too well. <laughs> um, yeah. So how cool is that? So now you actually have to buy a camera or at least a phone if the Sims actually wants to take pictures, and that could be a real cool idea for giving gifts as well. I, I think they'd be giftable. Um, yes, they are giftable items, so you could you you could buy a camera for another Sim. Um, and it's just kind of something to, to spend money on, just some a little touch of immersion um, and some cool other options with Polaroids. The next mod we're going to take a look at is this um, functional VR headset um, by Jackie Sims. So it's a pair of goggles on a stand like that and um, Sims can use it to play with VR or work out with VR. So she's got changed into it. For some reason it prompts you to take a picture and I'm not sure why. I think maybe you can just cancel that and then they will do it. Um, That's a little bit odd but now she's just gonna... It will gain her phone <laughs> and she'll just do some animations like that. Um, and it kind of blows the energy and builds fun. Or alternatively. Um, so when you cancel it, it just goes straight back onto the thing and again you want to take a picture or just press escape to cancel. I'm not sure why that is. I guess it's just a little quick, but 
it may could even be like something to do with using the camera overhaul, but I don't think so. Uh, let's try working out with VR. So yeah, I go take a picture or not, and then uh... okay, she didn't get changed into her athletic, which is a little bit strange. But yeah, she's building a body skill and just doing some workout. So that could be a cool uh, alternative, maybe. Alex, like, what are you doing? Uh, but yeah, that's just a um, full functional time, I guess. <laughs> For our next mod, I have purchased them a computer because this one is called Crystal Ball Computer Day, I think. Yeah, so um, some of you might be aware of um, an older mod that added a crystal ball you could buy and um, get well, not so blind dates, that way you could actually choose a date from a pool available. And this mod just adds that functionality onto the computer rather than it being its own object. Um, especially because not all kinds of games might suit having a little crystal ball. Um, so now we've got a crystal ball dating option, which lets you pick who you one um and gives you some options about who you might want to to get there is a version from for this for minix hat computer and another version for more computer options i actually usually use both of those mods i don't have either in this little test save um so i don't know what i'd do in that case i guess i'd have to to look into the right kind of solution there maybe make my own custom patch and um, but anyway yeah there's an option for just the maxis computer or the other mods so let's try and have cassandra meet a male through our crystal ball and um, and see who we get so then that brings up a, a menu of the eligible bachelors and she'd be able to choose who she'd like to go on a date with um not actually going to do that. Let's see um, what Mortimer's options would be. So now we can go to Crystal Ball Day and meet a female. I don't know. Is Cassandra by? <laughs> well, for some reason, Mortimer can only meet a, a female. So let's let's see what comes up for Mortimer. So we've got a witch, and I guess some like NPCs and townies. So yeah, you could pick any one of those and uh, go on a date, even with the the good witch. So, yep, yeah. um, just another option there that gives you more freedom of choice. The next mod we're gonna look at is this custom memory bonanza by Gummy. Um, so that adds a book. I think it's a similar idea to um to the tattered diary but it has been um expanded on um a lot so this is a way you can add custom memories manually and um, so there's a lot of new memories that aren't maxis memories and that you won't get automatically you can just place them there for storytelling so i can say that cassandra went to a great party or got drunk or had a sleepover with somebody or um had a stepchild or lost a custody battle or um left the nest um bought a house with somebody um sold a company there's a lot you could you know took out a loan there's there's so many you could gaps you could fill in to there's even one for getting hit by lightning um I've always wanted to make a mod uh, that would apply that automatically, um, but Novki has since released a mod that just makes the, ele the existing electrocuted memory occur when a sim is struck by lightning, which I think is a fair enough balance, um, but this one is specifically for hit by lightning, it's just a case of manually adding it rather than automatically. So I still might potentially look at making a specific hit by lightning memory that would happen automatically but this is a cool way that you could at least add it manually loads of different 
pregnancy options. Um, so let's say that <laughs> Cassandra missed work today. So let's say that she remembers getting that unpaid leave. And then it's in her memory, the custom memory, she took temporary leave off work. Let's try another one. Let's see. You could even use this to like make sense of a bug that happens in your game. So if like you wrote a, a novel which just happened to me before and then you never actually get paid for it, you can say that that was actually like a bad thing that happened to you saying that's so cool. Um, let's see, a romantic getaway. Wow. Um, no chemistry date. Oh my god, there's just there's just so many things. And you can see why a lot of them would never be a kind of a, a memory that would get applied automatically and it's just a way to for you to tell a custom story. She can remember that it's autumn even. It's autumn. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my god, I actually love that. I would kinda wish that happened automatically. Oh my god, that's so cool. And this is gonna make me want to make some of these like just apply automatically. Um we can say that Cassandra got drunk. <laughs> um what else? Uh, she went to is, she, is it literally called <gasps> Where's went to a bad party. Parents kicked me out. The, how cool is that? You could really tell some great stories using this. When you declared your major, oh my god, I need... That's so cool. If I make that because Alexander would say my child or just it was Alex's... Yeah, just Alex, Alex's first day in school. I guess it would make sense that she would remember her younger brother's first day of school. Oh my god, these are so cool. This, oh. There's so much potential here for amazing story making and other modders, <laughs> maybe like myself, if I can get my butt in gear, making a few of these where it would make sense to actually happen automatically because I would, I would really quite like this season one because then that, it kind of sets out a timeline better so you can say, okay, so this happened in autumn, then this happened in winter kind of like nice break points oh my god love it really cool i really struggle though to remember to do stuff like this like the micromanaging and um, manually adding memories like this and especially you kind of have to learn what your options are to start, kind of know when you can do it and um, so it can take a while to build that habit but there aren't, there's so much you could do with this for the next two mods, we're going to be taking a look at the next tab down in the chemistry um, because we have two different turn on and off replaces to look at today. So the first one I'm looking at is one by Episims. So we can see that Sandra has got a rich turn on now and the mechanical icon has been changed to a more modern Sims 4 star one. And um, same with Mortimer, the icon for good reputation and, uh, well, no, actually, well, it is new, a good reputation is new. And the icon for fatness has been changed, although, personally, to me, that looks like just not fit, rather than fat specifically. Um, but, obviously, you can see that it is much cleaner. So, if I have Cassandra drink the re new blah 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 we can see the full menu here so this one has got rich instead of underwear life skills instead of cologne that's when um, you know sims have learned two of the different life skills we've got poor instead of stink uh, we've got fancy new icons for fatness and fitness we've got pet lover instead of formal wear We've got a great dancer instead of swimwear. So when it seems hidden dance girl is above six. We've got vampire with a different icon. Classic facial hair. We've got glasses with a new icon. Makeup with a new icon. We've got talented instead of 
full face makeup, which is uh, having at least one silver or gold talent badge. We've got a good reputation instead of hats and a bad reputation instead of jewelry. The classic hair colors. We've got alien instead of custom hair. I've still got the gray hair, but if you use Epi's Mersim mod, that would be a Mersim instead. Uh, we've got a hard worker with um, a new icon and also it adds to cover the workaholic trait. Uh, we've got a new icon for unemployed. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention that the pet lover is having two pet friends or the animal lover trait. And we've got logical with a new icon and also incorporating the genius trait. We've got charismatic. The new icon incorporating the charismatic trait. We've got a great cook with a new icon and incorporating the natural cook trait. We've got creative and as well as before that incorporates the artistic trait. We've got athletic, which now includes the athletic trait too. And good at cleaning also includes the neat trait. We've got an enthusiast instead of zombie, which means they have level five or higher in a hobby. We've got a robot with a new icon and we've got plants in with a new icon, lycanthropy with a new icon and a witch with a new icon. So that's quite vanilla with just some small, a few swaps out and some, just a handful of traits incorporated into another one. But we're now going to take another one that um, is much heavier on the changes. So um, we'll uh, we'll see the difference there and also that might lead you on to a path of discovering how many other different turn on replacer mods that are available um and i for one i think all the options makes it quite hard to choose to the point i might have to as many people are doing these days kind of making their own version based on one that, that comes close so yeah i might end up making my own pretty soon as well uh so i keep an eye out for that potentially but let me just hop out of the game and swap in with the other trait replacer we're going to be looking at today that was also release this quarter. The next turn on replacer mod we're going to be looking at that came out this quarter is Pineapple Forest Edit of Atom Tans. But because it's the only one that came out this quarter, it's Pineapple Forest that we're going to be looking at. In my last kind of playthrough, I was using one I actually designed and again requested by Lazy Duchess. Um, so that's the one I was using, but I really do like the idea of incorporating traits. So it is possible the next time I might swap to, to one of these versions or like I said, um, and make my own little tweak on it. But anyway, with Pineapple Forest, uh, Mortimer is attracted to an intellect and we've got a new icon for fatness again, the same one as Epi's. And we've got Cassandra is attracted to an animal lover and, a, and charismatic now. Um, so let's now have a Mortimer drink his renew blah 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 and take a look at them all. So an intellect is um, having the genius trait or high logic skill similar to I, I think it was just the, the logic one in Epi is, is the same uh, situation there. We've got a cult which is a werewolf, witch, fairy, mermaid or supernatural fan. Fairy and Mermaid are two other mods, so you don't require using it, but if you do use those, um, the occult trait would apply to those. We've got Athletic, which is now high body skill as before, but also various traits, the Athletic trait, Equestrian, loves to swim, or having the sports and fitness hobby. Not just having the, the hobby, um, having actually over eight enthusiasm points in, in any of the hobby ones. Um, which I think is quite high. I think, to be honest, just having it as the one true hobby would suit me. Um, but anyway, so I think the fitness and fatness are as they were, just with another icon. Uh, we've got an alien trait, uh, which is the same as Epi's. It would apply. Actually, using I think there's an alien trait you can get from somewhere, so that would apply that, or having the skin tone or the eye colour for an alien. We've got the adventurous trait, which means they've been on three vacations, or they've got the adventurous, daredevil, sailor, or brave traits. Um, 
And we've got animal lover, which is like hippies to pet friends or animal lover, but building on that also the cat person, dog person and equestrian traits. We've got artistic, which as well as the high creative skill, we've got the artistic, avant-garde, photographer's eyes, scabby, scabby sculpture traits, or the a silver badge in flower arranging, pottery or sewing, or having high arts and crafts, hobby enthusiasm. There's outdoors, eh? which is the angler green thumb love the outdoors sailor traits or having a gardening badge or a fishing badge or a high nature hobby we've got a plant lover which is the eco-friendly gatherer green thumb vegetarian traits or having a flower arranging or gardening talent badge or being a plant sim or a fairy we've got a business shark which is having the burn sales person ambitious mean spirited snob or workaholic traits we've got laid back which is a couch potato mooch or slob traits or having less than two active personality points we've got stylish which is having the snob diva irresistible traits or a cosmetology talent badge or high fashion interest or being informal wear the hairs are as they were, apart from custom hair, is now introvert, which is the brooding, loner, and flirty, serious, no sense of humour, grumpy, or socially awkward traits, or having less than two outgoing personality points. There's musical, which is having the natural born performer, star quality, virtuoso traits, or the high music and dance hobby. We've got tidy, which is having the neat trait or a high cleaning skill or more than a neat personality points we've got infamous and that means having a bad reputation or the evil or mean-spirited traits there's undead which is being a ghost or a vampire personally i classed undead and a cult as like one and the same and i wonder why zombie isn't included in that interesting it gives you ideas doesn't it when you see so many different mods tackling their own thing in their own way it makes you think well what would i do what makes sense to me so yeah at least there's a lot of examples now to like reverse engineer and take inspiration from we've got cultured which is having the avant-garde but warm traits or the film and literature heart bay charismatic is charismatic irresistible smoother star quality traits or high charisma skill We've got rebellious which is having the daredevil inappropriate hot-headed or rebellious traits facial hair as it was foodie is having the natural cook trait or high cuisine hobby or high cocking skill indoors eh, is having the bookworm computer words couch potato hates the outdoors traits or the film and literature hobby or the games hobby well liked is having a good reputation having the friendly good proper or nurturing traits the outgoing one is being ir having the irresistible flirty natural born performer party animal or social butterfly traits or having more than eight outgoing personality points we've got expressive which is having the excitable childish party animal dramatic or over emotional or diva traits <laughs> lastly we've got technology which is being a servo having the bot fan computer is handy in or vehicle enthusiast traits having a silver talent badge in robotics or my mechanical scale wow <laughs> so that is really like quite an overall quite in depth obviously trying to incorporate a lot of different aspects and actually included well optionally included in this mod is actually if you wanted to you could also put in a another file that would make it so that the chemistry system is only built on turn-ons so it gets rid of zodiac attraction like i've got a mod for just doing that but also the aspiration and personality attraction systems if you wanted to as well but obviously makes them much more heavily weighted so instead of just i think it's like 17 for each turn on it'd be like 100 or, so, or something you, you know what i mean it makes it makes a chemistry system entirely revolve around turn-ons if that's something you wanted to do but yeah there's loads of different turn-on replacer options so that's just two examples of ones that have come out this quarter so take a look around and see which one makes most sense to you on the theme of traits incorporation 
we have the Stuffed Animal Enabler and Autonomy Fix with Traits Incorporation by Gourmet. And what this aims to do largely is make the interactions with the teddy bear a lot less annoying. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed that Sims tend to become really obsessed with it. Like you put it down as a cute little decoration and then you turn your back and someone's carrying it off to try and talk through to someone that's busy. Um, that reduces that. So uh, if it's sitting on a slot then people will leave it alone because it's clearly decorated but if it's just sitting on the floor like this then it's fair game to at least some sims. It does enable more interactions for all ages so now actually adult you could direct adults to play with if you want to but they're not going to do this autonomously unless they kind of have an appropriate trait so I only childish all of the sims will play with it or carry it and the talk through interaction is limited to sims who have eight or higher playful personality points or have the nurturing trait so i've given cassandra the nurturing trait so she still might autonomously use the bear to try and talk through to somebody but your average sim unless they're super playful isn't going to do that so i'm not going to sit around waiting to observe what they do with this autonomously but yeah basically it gives you more options with the teddy bear while still making it toned down and less annoying on the autonomy front our next mod is another one by gourmet called autonomous crafting for all team plus sims and what that does is makes crafting stations be able to be used autonomously mainly on community lots if you've ever tried to make a community center type lot where sims can come and build things on hobby stations perhaps they don't have the money or the room for one at home it's you've probably been very disappointed to find that visiting sims can't use them you can only direct your playable sims to so it, even though i'm not gonna take you to a community lot right now the idea of it is based around community lots so it's a great way for that but it does have some functionality on home lots as well so you, you can actually buy this little tool that is a, like a toggler so if you place it somewhere on the lot that means the autonomy is enabled on residential lots as well but you can also use this same toggler if you were to put it on a community lot it would disable autonomy to be honest I, I wish it was just always on on for residential lots as well but you know that's quite a cool little decorative piece i'm sure you could make you could probably use an osp to like place it on top of one of these or something for example so it's a quite a cute little decorative piece anyway but if you have that somewhere on the lot then it will make the autonomy enabled on residential lots as well i have turned free will on I'm going to see if they use it but I've got a feeling they won't because obviously they've never done it before they don't have any kind of badge building at all so I'll, I'll have a little see if they do but if not I'll get them started make them stop and then observe them probably picking it back up or something let's say oh <laughs> okay Cassandra is straight on it she wants to make a bri brick slot so let's make one that looks like Don here and Mortimer is very keen to use a room. Obviously, they were standing right next to them. So, yeah, it was probably quite highly appealing. But there they go, tinkering, crashing away. Obviously, I could have just, like, not chosen one if I didn't want them to, to do it. But, yeah, I think I really enjoy Sims interacting with the hobbies. So, for me, it would be great to see them have a lot more drive when I've, in my mind, they've got a hobby of doing something like that this it would be great to see them drawn to it just as they are with the with the easel and piano and things like that so a wonderful little mod next we're going to be taking a look at two mods at once and they are the newspaper and computer job summary by pick and mix and also the restricted job offers by nopke so more of me here would like to get a job in the gamer or intelligence career so let's have him look for one on the computer and then let's see what happens okay so the first thing that happens is you get this pop-up about the careers that are available today with pick and mixers mod so you can see whether you actually want to bother continue looking or not i have no idea why one is named local 
So let's see, have a look and see what's, what's causing that. I don't have any custom careers or anything. Hmm. It might be that there isn't a fifth one available, so... Oh. Is he continuing? No, he gave up because I took so long. So let's try that again. Find a job. And we get the summary, so... We do have a job in the intelligence career, so that, okay, we want to continue looking, or it might be like, actually, there's nothing for us, can't be bothered today, but let's continue looking, and then you'll get the usual Maxis prompts, but not case mod restricted job or offers changes the way this works quite a lot. So I think we've only got four jobs on offer today, and that is why that other mod was, was displaying the name local like that. So let's click through, we've got journalism at level one, see what else we've got we've also got intelligence at just level one so mortimer's quite a skilled guy you know but anyway we're still getting low level careers who are very specific skills mind you but it's not based on his skills anymore in real life that's not how it works and a criminal at just level one and that was it at least for mortimer however Let's now get Cassandra to look in the newspaper. So, for Cassandra in the newspaper today, we've got Gamer, Culinary and Politics. So we've got Gamer at level 1, Culinary at level 2, or Politics at level 2. This restricted job offers is quite complex and difficult to explain. But now what it does is that new jobs are randomly created that haven't appeared in a previous day and each household has its own offers so the and the offers are no longer biased by aspirations and college degrees of household members you just get what you get now let's see what happens if they swap round and cassandra looks on the computer and more looks in the newspaper so with cassandra we can see we've got Game of Connery, and I think it was politics was in the newspaper. We've got oceanography and slacker as well. There's that game of career. We've got oceanography at level one. So from what I'm in the newspaper, we've just got journalism and intelligence available in the newspaper. And apparently no jobs suitable for him. Though there was opening in those careers, but Mortimer doesn't qualify for any of them or something. To be honest, these two mods don't synergize very well together. Obviously, Pickamix is trying to display the three in the newspaper and the five on the computer that would normally happen in Maxis, but Nopkey's changes the way that works. But still, I wanted to show them both in this video. It also adds a system of the jobs being taken. So if one person in the household accepts a job in that level opening, it's not still available for anybody else to take. There's there's only one slot. So, let me take the image on, on Nopke's mod as an example. So it might be that there was an opening at science level 1, but someone else has taken that so it's no longer available. There might be a opening in the business career at level 2 and a culinary career at level 1. There might even be an opening at level 7 of the athletic career but your sims can't apply for that because they don't qualify. They don't have enough skills or enough friends or whatever it is. There's also a lot of different flavors you can choose about the kind of levels that will be available or how many. So I've got a variable number. That's why there was a, you know, not guaranteed to be three in the newspaper, not guaranteed to be five on the, on the computer. It can vary. So for the chance number of jobs, I chose the around three flavor, which makes it so there's most likely to be about three jobs, but there are a chance for them to be no jobs or five jobs. Then there's flavors for the kind of levels that will be available. You can choose equal, mostly low or unrestricted, which is dynamic, like in the vanilla game. So in the, I think I went with for the mostly low to show in this. So that means most of the job offers are going to be at the low levels, uh, most at level one and then increasingly up to only being able to be at level five in the newspaper, whereas the online job kind of can go all the way up to level nine, but still it'll be a lot more likely that those offers are in the low levels. And if one does come up 
at the higher levels and they're not qualified for it, it won't actually show for them. So another household member might see it, but that sim won't. If that makes any sense, you've just got to kind of read the description and try and get your head around it and have a little model through in the game, experiment with what kind of flavors you might like. The next thing we're going to be looking at is two kind of functional decorative items. So the first one is a functional light switch. Uh, so if you go into miscellaneous light in, you'll now have a switchable switch. Unfortunately, it starts all the way down here because of that shadowy nonsense. I don't really go for things being at the floor like a lot of people do. I'd rather it just started at the height, whatever works best for animations. So I don't know if it's going to quite line up right, but we can now get Mortimer to turn on the lights in this room. And we can use it to turn off the lights in the room and back on. And it's just a little image. It's the same as like, you know, doing it on the light itself, but it you know, it adds a touch of realism to have have light switches around the place like that and you can actually, you know, make your sims use it to, to control the light, so that's pretty cool. And the next thing, in a kind of similar essence, I guess, is a window. So let's swap this one out and find it. No, it doesn't go the best in the goth house, but bear with. I've just grabbed this open window that came with apartment life, and now there's actually functionality to open and close it. So you can toggle it open and close. Unfortunately, for me at least, it doesn't affect the, the temperature inside. I think it'd be really, really cool if it did, um, but still. It's, it's really good that these windows have that option. You can even, even if you buy the one that starts closed, I think, well, you can choose, you could you can have both or you can have just one. Uh, you can choose whether you want to open it or, I'm gonna just put that the wrong way. I don't know. But yeah, you can open and close those windows. And so it just adds that touch of immersion if you've got those open windows and you've got, oh God, it's snowing outside. You can go ahead and close it or it's a bright sunny day it might look better if they're open so you don't have to choose between one or the other anymore next we're going to be looking at two mods together and the first one you can see is the frozen style frozen overlay so don is over here he's been invited over and he's getting very cold in the cold snowy weather outside it's a lot more subtle he's not just completely blue it looks a lot more natural except now he's got these snowflakes on his hands and toes like what happens in the frozen film so i think that's a much nicer overlay and the other mod is body temperature fixes and changes by Nopke and um, and that does a lot of different things but the main thing I can show is that it actually makes visitors able to you know pass out from being too cold or too hot where they couldn't before and um, it will make them try to leave earlier but if they can't it won't stop them from actually having those temperature desperations and um, so it can be a lot more dangerous so we'll keep speeding through and see if the cold gets all too much for dawn he's changed his clothes out of his swimwear but he can't leave yeah it, i guess he's trying to leave i don't know dom seems indestructible he's not giving in and passing out so i guess i'll leave it but yeah um check out the description of that mod because it makes a lot of different fixes and improvements to do with temperature for the next few mods we're with the brokes and while dustin waits to go to school i'm gonna have brandy serve this uh pizza because we have a default pizza replacement which is very much Max's match style, um, but a little bit chunkier and a little bit more realistic, and that is by Jacob O'Connor. So as we all know, Sims 2 has the best looking pizza anyway, but this just takes it that one step further while still keeping that um, original Max's charm. And I'm also gonna get her getting bottled for Bo. 
because we also have another replacement by Jacob O'Connor that makes the bottle really smooth and round instead of that like octagonal shape or whatever it was before and also optionally changes the liquid inside to be more vibrant green that matches the green in the elixir of life as well so there's two oh, very nice them. looking touches and now we'll just wait for Dustin to come home so Dustin's home and has been lectured by his mom and I'm going to have him have his first kiss with Angela like he wants to. Because I now want to show you that the very first kiss icon has been changed to be more similar to the very first woohoo so it looks consistent and in the memories you can quite clearly see which one was the very first. It doesn't have to be a new kiss mind you, it will have still updated in Brandy's ones as well. Um, her very first kiss with Skip now looks uh, more obvious um, so that is a cool a little UI mod as well. And for our next mod, we are now going to send Angela home and wait until the night time because he wants to sneak out with Angela and that is exactly what we're going to do. So I was actually going to just have Dustin sneak out with Angela but she already rang to ask before I got the chance so yes, we definitely would like to sneak out with her tonight. So now we just have to wait till 1am um, to see them sneaking out. So off Dustin goes, I don't know where Angela got that car, but they are now going to sneak out. So the mod we're talking about is Sneak Out Loot by Pick a Mix. So it gives Sims a chance to actually, uh oh, she's woke up and because uh, Dustin is being brought back. Did he get anything? No, he didn't because he got busted. I think that's like program time, but it's not. I should have probably thought about that. Um, so let's try again tomorrow night and see if Dustin manages to acquire anything on his next sneak out. So it's now 10 o'clock the next night, I've just set it to that so let's try and sneak out with Angela again. And off he goes again, let's see if they return or more successful or return with anything. So now Dustin has come back and now he is home with a shocking pink flamingo. So now if I, where is he? Where is he? If I look in his inventory, he's now got a flamingo. He obviously picks off somebody's lawn while he was out on adventures. There's also an add-on for this mod that is a kickable traffic cone item. So that adds a chance that what they come back with might be this custom traffic cone or it could be another Maxis item like a gnome. So if you like the idea that you teen sneak out and get up to no good, then this is a great mod for you. I think it's a brilliant idea, but personally, I'm not sure if I'll be using it because in my mind, that's not what they're getting up to. They're not going out stealing things. They're just going out and having a little canoodle or a hangout or, you know, having a drink or something like that. They're not stealing it, but if if that's what's in your mind, I think that's a really cool mod, a great ad addition. Yeah, cool way to get some lawn decorations at least. <laughs> For our next two mods, I've grabbed the Brokes a dog and brought them to the park uh, because I wanted to show you this nice community trash bin replacer which is by TV Sims and it's a conversion from The Sims 4 and I think it looks a lot more solid a much better shape and it really blends in well with the sims 2 style so i like that um and we brought our dog because now we're at the park we can actually teach him a command he might not take to it because they've only just met i don't know um but yeah before before you couldn't teach pets commands at community allots only only in a home lot so this little simple mod enables you to be able to take your pets to a park maybe a, a dog park and teach them there makes a lot of sense for this next brand new mod we've come to join the 
pleasant and Mary Sue is actually about to give Daniel a back rub now but this new mod actually adds an interaction to ask for back rubs so she's gonna give him over and a cord but then I think she deserves one back so let's see if she asks him and he agrees and then we willing to give one Oh, Mama Dif. This in the Could ask for another one. And this is really helpful for when you're on dates and you're not controlling the other sim, but your sim has a want to get a back rub from the sim they're on a date with. That way you can, you know, initiate that happening. So just a cool handy new interaction there by Pick and Mix. Let's also take a look at these really nice chimney default replacements which have been converted from The Sims 4 by Lord Crumps and they've also been given a lot of really nice recolors to match the set of walls that Lord Crumps also converted from The Sims 4 so now there will be a lot more um, really nice textures to be able to use on the chimneys. Um, but I think the default one is very true to the um, default Sims 2 one. Um, it's just that little bit more higher quality. They also look really nice from neighbourhood view. Um, but do bear in mind for me anyway, when I first put this mod in, they looked invisible from neighbourhood view until I loaded the lot and came back out. But yeah, they are looking really nice. Speaking of The Sims 4, did you know that you can get the packs and other games for that matter for much cheaper from a safe and reliable source from CD Keys? And if you use my affiliate link, I'll get a small cut with no extra cost to you. Find the link in the description. For our next mod, we are in university with the pleasant teens um, I have used the college adjuster to set their semester to the end of sophomore year they're all about to go and have their final exams because what we're going to be looking at is a mod called better major auto selection so that's going to make the major that gets forced on them at the start of junior year based on their one true hobby interests personality i think some several factors so it's not always going to be philosophy for everyone so we're going to wait for them to take their final exams and um, see what majors they get put in so they are now back and dustin and angela have been put in the biology major lilith is in philosophy and dirk is in art so I've just checked on the Sim Blender and Dustin and Angela's one true hobby are both nature. Angela's very interested in the environment and animals so you can see how that makes a lot of sense. Uh, same with Dustin so you can see why based on that that makes a load of sense. Dick's one true hobby is tinkering and he is very interested in culture and um, so it does make sense in that regard that he take on arts as well as a very high interest in food as well. Lilith's one true hobby is sports and she's really interested in paranormal, crime, culture and toys so it's quite a mixed bag so perhaps that's why philosophy since it wasn't like one clear path or some of the careers that philosophy helps towards um, would be reflected with these interests but anyway yeah if you play very strictly want space and don't declare a major unless you want to then this could be a great way to actually get some variety in the majors if you don't choose one by junior year they'll um they'll be putting one based on their character which i think is really cool i do tend to manually put them in majors sooner whether we want one or not to be honest even though i do generally play want space um but who knows this might just make me hold off the next mod i want to show you is a neighborhood trees default replacement and that is all um converted from the sims 4 by lord crumps so if you're going for a very um 4 to 2 style game this might be of interest to you and um, they do look really nice um, but what i have noticed is that the trees are quite a bit bigger than the maxis ones so 
it's possible that you might want to, you know, do some manual moving around to um, rent some clipping. But what's good about that is actually you could probably thin out the amount of trees and therefore actually uh, have less pressure put on your game that way if, if you've got less trees on in the neighbourhood. So maybe um, maybe bigger trees is, is a great solution for that. Um, so yeah, the, these are them in autumn and I'll just swap to the university hood since that one was um, in summer or spring so you can see them green. And this is what they look like in green. There are a couple of neighbourhood trees that haven't been replaced. I think it's those big collection of, of fir trees like the, the forest pine uh, ones but the vast majority have been replaced and they do look really good. They're very high quality and would certainly suit some styles of game very well. Next we're in a body shop and while my body shop might look a bit different to yours because I'm using the widescreen and clean UI which I highly recommend if you don't have, that's not what we're going to be talking about today because that's on a new one. What I want to show you is the, the background I have chosen is a um, conversion to the sims 4 from the sims 2 back to the sims 2 basically well it's not exactly a conversion this is a cast background for the sims 4 that was inspired by the sims 2 put back in the sims 2 body shop and also the lighting mod that the lighting in here looks really good now so i'll show you the pages of those two mods and some of the other there's loads of other backgrounds you can choose from so i'll show you some of those and also some of the smaller mods that um, have come out in this quarter that I haven't really been able to show in video so I'll just uh, give a quick run through the mod pages to make you aware of them but yeah there wasn't really anything much to show. So here is the selection of body shop background replaces you can choose from uh, by Social Bunny they've got a whole bunch on here so you've got a load to choose from just pick your personal favourite and choose your style the best. But if none of those are your tests, there are also these ones by Red Simmer. So you could check those out as well. Of course, you can only choose one background at a time. So yeah, plenty to choose from there. So pick which one you like. And also by Red Simmer is the lighting mod. So some of you may have heard of this brightening up body shot mod, which is um, very useful. I certainly used to use that one, but this is just like an even more enhanced edit of that. And I think that looks really good. Now to flick through a few mod pages that I couldn't show you in game. We don't want to be here forever. Um, so I'll just have a quick run through. Um, the first one is the backup launcher by lingering will x um, and that is a new program actually that will back up your neighborhoods folders automatically before launching the game so that's a handy tool to use so that you've always got a, a backup before you start playing in case anything goes wrong next is gypsy gives more date candidates so what this does is makes it so that sims they have met do become possible date candidates and um, instead of having never met before it's just as long as they have a really really low relationship well not low as in negative like on it or around zero and then if the person knows everyone instead of prioritizing sims with bad chemistry it'll start giving sims with a higher relationship with the sim and it also enables Sims with the romance aspiration to be considered for date candidates even if they have a committed relationship. It makes a different age sim less likely. Um, also makes you more likely to get a sim where you have a high attraction with within the payment range. And lastly, if the gyps can't find anybody then your sim won't be charged money because <laughs> that's only there. So just some more logical handy tweaks to the gypsy dating system. Next is no towny apartment neighbour spawning, so pretty self-explanatory. So it will just prevent new apartment townies from being spawned to fill in vacant apartments. If all the existing ones are used or there's no existing ones, they'll just remain empty and not keep spawning more. So it's just essentially no apartment towny regen, similar to the other no regen mods, which is really handy. 
Next is food stand improvements and honestly this does quite a lot and is a lot to get your head around so I'm not going to list all of these off but basically it does what it says and makes the food stand objects work much better on own community lots. You can change the price of what's served individually and um, assign chef and be a chef and uh, also improve how dining sims interact with it like the chairs they choose and um, you can go and, and work as the chef for money like you can as a barista or a bartender um people just kind of buy food at them that are hungry rather than having to browse first um just really just overhauling the these um food stand objects in a lot of little logical ways this is yet another auto read mod and other bookcase related tweaks um, and this like a few other mods do is make sims more likely to read books autonomously but not quite as likely as some of the other mods already out there that, that do a similar thing um but it does make it more likely for sims with the one true hobby in film and literature to do so and um, build more fun with it it reduces the other motive drops from reading sci-fi and cooking but it doesn't get rid of them it just reduces them slightly i think there's other mods that just completely stop them it allows visitors to read on public libraries uh, it makes it so that if you're in a university dorm and there's a party going on sims won't just sit around researching they'll get involved with the party sims are more likely to put away books writing in diaries a bit less attractive and sims that are confident won't hide the diary motive checks for the read to interaction and and, and just a, a few logical tweaks like this uh honestly it's possibly one i might even build on self to add like traits support like buttworms are even more attracted to reading and uh gain more fun from it and things like that i i think this would be really cool with the addition of trait support but also you know, obviously in a way that's compatible i think there are some traits mods but obviously it would be incompatible with this Um, potentially even make the advertisement a little bit more because with the sounds of it it doesn't seem like for the average sim reading will be very likely still so you just have to get a sense of like what you want out of that maybe it might be one of the other mods that, that does make them more attractive and also since i use side john's more fun this like sims stopping when they're like 85 percent fun doesn't really suit me so it might be that i do in that one but still i think it's quite a good range of tweaks and some that we haven't really seen before next is custom loading screens and music for the sims 2 rpc so some of you may use the loading randomizer too by great cheesecake persona and um, but if you also use rpc apparently the two don't work very well together so pick a mix has made a version that is a plugin for rpc so you can get the best of both which is is really cool Um, i do think some of these loading screens look great but personally this this background with the sunflowers has just become like so the sims 2 to me that, that i don't really want to see anything else when i load the game but if you were torn between them or tried using both together that's an easy choice for you next is keep class clean by Lime yoshi and it fixes some bugs within cast like um temperature and errors i haven't really personally experienced many many problems within cast but apparently loads of things can can go wrong so it just um kind of fixes cast to prevent the chance of well things like that being able to go wrong next is a simple lod fix for the creaky branches design tree so it's actually viewable in neighborhood view so before it would just be missing and now it's fixed and is visible next is a mod that makes the roof pieces from apartment life and mansion and garden stuff cut away so when you've got the walls down and um, they will actually disappear so you can see what's going on inside the the roofs which is really handy if you want to build a room like this uh, within those kind of roof pieces like that you don't always have to be in aerial view to be able to use them next is a water placement fix for the possibly lethal water characters which i believe came with the door 
uh, stuff, but that just makes it actually place as it's supposed to. Next is a teen breakdance and infix by Nopke, um, and apparently sometimes when a teen sim is learning breakdancing, they use the animations of growing up, so it's just a bug that can happen sometimes, so that prevents that from happening. Next is College Class Fade Out in Root by Jonathan, which a few other mods have been made by. So this makes it so when a person is going to university class, they will start fading out before they actually get to that uh, end of the path portal, um, which is how warp buyers do normally behave. And that just prevents Sims bumping into each other and getting in the way of each other as much because they'll start to fade out a little bit sooner rather than all gathering right at the edge of the lot. And then when they come back, they will walk to the mailbox rather than just standing right at the edge of the lot getting in everyone's way and we've also got the sim dropped out memory fix by nopke and um what this does is usually when a sim drops out of college they get a memory like in third person themselves which is a little bit strange and the family doesn't get any at all so this makes it so that like this tank dropped out is actually what the family get and I think it makes it so that the sim doesn't get a dropped out memory but in the comments I did read that Nopki is working on one so it should be that there'll eventually be a new memory of them dropping out themselves but this third person one will be what the family members get rather than getting none and the sims themselves remembering themselves in the third person. We've also got various mod edits by EpiSims which are edits of various other mods that Epi has made more to suit themselves. Um, so for example the visit control with um, some traits incorporation and enabling children and teens to visit even without playable children or teens being there and also a brand new object that you can give to sims in their inventory to stop them specifically showing up on community lots which is really cool. Um, some other color trait incorporating into the towel mod, a tweak to similar 90s dining groups which I use that makes the relationship requirement for people dining together a bit higher which I agree makes more sense and some uh, stuff for polyamorous relationships and things like that. So have a look at those if you use any of those mods. These uh, edits or add-ons might suit you better as well. Another one by EpiSims is More Balanced Aspiration Attraction and they have changed which aspiration is attracted to which so that it's um, more even. Each aspiration is attracted to exactly one other aspiration and unattracted to exactly one other aspiration and they're one-sided and um, so that means like any aspiration pair has the same value rather than some pairs being able to have a lot more. Um, unfortunately this mod is not compatible with my no zodiac chemistry mod so if you use that one thank you very much and bear that in mind. We've also got four more mods from Jonathan. This crate has been on an absolute roll um, and right at the end of March has released four more mods in a row. So this first one is day ending does not wake up and simply at the end of a good day if your sims have gone to sleep together the day ending doesn't wake them up. They can keep um, sleeping through the night. They're not forced to get up and have that kiss. Um, although if they have had a bad day they should still be pushed to you know have a negative interaction. Next is stair penalty and that makes the uh, behaviour around modular stairs much smarter um, you know prioritising free stairs um, and a quite a few other tweaks like that um, that just help avoiding queue stomping and, and just like running sims getting slowed down and, and various things like that. We also have Kishi on business responsive which um, smartens up sims assigned to the cashier role on an own business. So now a cashier will check for new commands and queuing customers more often um, and they can also do short nested interactions without stopping being the cashier so they can sell an item and give a command to an employee and to the uh, mobile phone, react to weather and smells, check out attractive people, close up or sit down for a bit to regain comfort while all still actually being in that cashier role and also a um, sim in line at the cash register will uh, be more responsive to actually 
getting served to speed things up a bit and make them flow a little bit better. And lastly, we've got restock prioritize, which similarly to the last one, improves the behavior of Sims assigned to the restock role on a known business. So it makes the Sim prioritize the closest and most valuable items in the same room and the same floor. So their um, routing's a little bit more logical and also those key items that are more likely to be profitable will get prioritized. They'll also be more responsive to commands um, when they're idle. It also makes it so that craftable items not available in the inventory will not be attempted to get restocked and no message will be shown about them. I think that's quite a personal preference tweak there. I'm not sure how I'd feel about that bit. I think you definitely would need to keep an eye on those craftable items a lot more to, so you, you know what you've got in stock and what you haven't. But I do completely get on the other hand how it can be really annoying that, that you know you don't have any more of those things and your you restock is like constantly trying to restock them anyway um so yeah it, it depends what you make of that but i do think it it is a good idea a lot of ways you just have to pay more attention to yourself um, and also similar to the cashier one the sim can have short interactions while still being on the restock job so you know again selling reacting to where they're answering cell phone closing up shop and um, assigning another cashier or be direct to another position so it should just smarten up those roles in the playable businesses and with that that is all of the mods that have come out in the first quarter of 2024 that i found anyway if i've missed any please do let me know i am like determined to be aware of every single bot out there <laughs> so you let me know if i've missed anything please and let me know what you are interested in and what you're going to be adding to your game folder so like I said, I do hope to make this a series on my channel. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you did and that you would be interested in seeing more. But bear in mind, I would be trying to um, make this actually a monthly occurrence showing the mods of the month rather than quarterly. So the upcoming videos like this should be a lot shorter. But yeah, just because I had so much set up to do um, and I've been making my website and things, I just hadn't been able to to do the first one until this point so yeah apologies for the long one but the rest should be shorter monthly highlights so i do hope you'd look forward to those and remember to check out my website to be able to find all of the links of the mods covered today as well as a written description so you can use that as reference and also browse around on there to find my mods and other resources. In the meantime, join my Discord to keep in touch. Consider becoming a Patreon or buying a coffee if you like my work and I will catch you in a new video very soon. Bye guys!